Hello, meet with me again, Andy, in Andy is United YouTube channel, the channel that focus on everything about Manchester United, the greatest football club on earth. Okay, okay. Now today. Uh, we're gonna talk about one of the former Man United players. Um, he's a famous, uh, but unfortunately, he's famous for his mistake, not for his achievement for the club. Well, I think you know uh, who's the player that I mean. It's uh, Massimo Taibi. You know, he is the Man United goalkeeper and he played for Man United in the 99-2000 season only one season and just only four games uh, before he played in Man United uh, Taibi played in Italy almost he, he almost spent all his professional career in Italy and one of the famous club that he ever uh, play in Italy is AC Milan okay and then uh, so in the after Man United wins the Champions League in 1999 Peter Michael uh, decided to move from Man United so Alex Ferguson uh, looking a new goalkeeper and he found uh, Mark Bosnick the Australian goalkeeper but unfortunately at the in the early season of 1999-2000 Mark Bosnick got injured and also the second goalkeeper Raymond van der Grohe. well as we know that uh, during the Schmeichel era the only uh, reverse goalkeeper that we trust is only the Raymond van der Grohe, right so the Alex Ferguson decide to uh, sign the Massimo Taibi from Venezia. Uh, many believe that uh, his performance in uh, Venezia at the in the 1998 1999 season is uh, good, not bad. So, uh, Alex Ferguson believe this is can be the solution for the Man United uh, goalkeeper. So, um, okay, uh, doing the doing his play in doing his time in as a Man United player, Massimo Taibi, who only play four games, but he. He got uh, one medal, which is uh, Intercontinental Cup 1999. As you know, uh, this is the uh, at the 1999 Inter Intercontinental Intercontinental Cup, uh, Taibi uh, become the uh, sub uh, sub substitution. Uh, and he not plays, but uh, at the time Bosnik was the first goalkeeper. But uh, Man United win one one no to Palmeiras from Brazil, and uh, and Massimo Taibi then get his first and only medal from Man United. The Intercontinental Cup 1999. It's only his, the only medal that he have from Man United. Okay, and then uh, we talk about his his performance in the four game with Man United. So, at the, his first game is against Liverpool, where United wins 3-2. And guess what? He choose as he choose he choose as the man of the match because his brilliant save 
at the games uh, and many people said this is the the goalkeeper that uh, we are looking for replace smackout at the time and then uh, the second man the second man is versus Wimbledon where man united play a draw 1-1 against Wimbledon which uh Jordi Cruyff uh, the son of Johan Cruyff Netherlands Holland agent play our uh, scores at the at the at, at this match then the third games this is uh, the games that changed Taibi career in Man United at this third game uh, against Southampton uh, United unfortunately just draw with Southampton but Taibi make a big mistake when he cannot save uh, the ball uh, that kick by Matt Letizia. you can see the video in the YouTube if you see then you know why many people then said he's uh, he's a bad bad goalkeeper unprofessional goalkeeper because uh, the ball should not got uh, the ball should not into the net but I don't know why but the Taibi lost the ball after he should can save the ball that's why many people and media then say he is a blind Venetian uh, and after that after that uh, moment suddenly uh, the confidence of Taibi is dropped we can see that he, he even not believe it he even not believe that he do he do mistake like that so if you see the video in the youtube or in the in the anywhere else you can see that it's very very terrible mistake from a goalkeeper and then the next match he play uh, versus chelsea where chelsea player score five goal to his net but man united player cannot score any goal we lose uh, five goal from chelsea at that time and that and it's the first united uh, league defeat since losing to Middles middlesbrough in december 1998 after that after that match he never play again to man united and then he loaned to the club uh, Regina in Italy. Many believe that uh, Alex Ferguson uh, cut cut off his contract, but in the few years later, he said that actually he has a personal problem in Italy that make him cannot back to England. That's why then uh, he and Man United management. Uh, agree that uh, to 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 release him uh, and from contract then he never come back play for Man United uh, and he play then he play in the many uh, Italian club but uh, not a big club in Italian until he decided to retire at in 2009 okay i meet uh, massimo taibi uh, in jakarta my country on february 5 uh, 2013 when he come with uh, some of uh, ac milan legends uh, milan glory in 2013 actually uh, in 2011 he also come to jakarta or my country but i uh i i didn't meet him at that time so when i heard that taibi will also back again with milan goi in 2013 i decided i have to meet him because for me this player is a legend
can you imagine why I call legend because he only play for time with Man United but uh, he he make a uh, his name was always written in the Man United story that's why I call him legend uh, so uh, and the funny is when I come to the hotel where the many Milan players legend and the fans come to meet them believe it or not uh, many people many fans surrounding uh, players like Maldini, Baresi, Shevchenko um, but no one uh, as photograph or signi- as, uh, signature to Taibi he just walk alone he looks shy I remember that he look looks shy but and when I ask uh, can I take picture with you he just okay and then we take picture and uh, he gave me signature in the in the paper that I give to him that's it and then he go he go work alone uh, and uh, I thought uh, even I'm not uh, I'm not uh, Milan fans, but I know some of the Milan fans. Uh, sorry, I know some of the Milan players. But uh, it's 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 a it's a world world to see the um, even the Milan fans didn't 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 take seriously or didn't didn't try to take picture with Taibi. I think uh, poor Taibi. Actually, he's a nice man, but maybe he's too shy and never talk, and you know, maybe because his face is serious, so people sometimes think, oh, can I take picture with him? Funny, right? Well, that's the story. When I meet Massimo Taibi, um, and I'm, I'm glad have. Uh, has uh, I'm glad can meet him. Even it's just it's just only for a few minutes, but uh, I'm I think I'm so lucky because even in Indonesia, my country, not not many uh, many United fan that uh, meet Taibi at the time. Maybe he's uh, he's a very unforgotten player, right? for most of the Man United fans uh, and I have to say this that uh, my goal made this channel is to to share his story about Man United I don't want to critic uh, any players, manager, management or owner because for me uh, I want to create channel that uh, can give information as much as possible for the fans of Man United because this is history, right? History of the one of the greatest club in in the world. That's why uh, I hope that many United fans know about the true history of the club. If uh, we know that. Nothing is perfect, but at least uh, don't just say don't. So let the people who more experience to critique the management, the club, or anything else. But for me, I just try to share the real story and history. And I hope you enjoy watching my video. Thank you, and see you on the next video. Glory, glory, Man United.